Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and I wish you a happy Halloween. Today we have a spooky episode of South Park called Corn's Groovy Pirate Ghost Mystery. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, it's corn. You're in the at the cozy 102.1 Halloween haunt at the South Park docks. Come on down, we've got a haunted house and everyone is decorating for tomorrow night, Halloween, when the band Korn, that's right, Korn, is going to play live. And don't forget to wear a costume tomorrow because there's a big first prize. How do you convince Korn to come to South Park? Well, I guess you just tell them that someone hid 10 grams of cocaine in Mr. Slave's ass. Well, here's some kids enjoying the Halloween haunt now. Say, boys, what do you think of Cozy FM's Halloween haunt so far? This one time, like eight months ago, I saw two guys kissing in a park. And that was the gayest thing I'd ever seen until I saw the Cozy FM Halloween haunt. All right, well, enjoy <laughs> the spooky dogs, kids. Hey, you guys, you know what time of year it is? You know what's the gayest thing that I've ever seen? This one here. Of course, dumbass, it's Halloween. That's right, and that means only two more months till Christmas. You better watch out. You better not cry. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas time. Carmen has priorities. Ah, nuts. Come on, Ned. This ain't a whorehouse. It's a horror house. <laughs> hey, spooky laboratory, you guys. Those things are stupid, Cartman. They just stick your hand in cold spaghetti and tell you it's intestines and stuff. Well, I'm going to spooky laboratory. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Even as a kid, I found those places extremely lame and gay. My brain kept telling me they're not going to touch you. They're not going to harm you. How the f can I be scared if I cannot be touched? Welcome to the Spooky Laboratory. I'm your guide, Dr. Spookalot. Allow me to show you around the lab. Okay. Here I have a bowl of human eyeballs. <laughs> and here you can feel the brains. Oh, gross. And here you can feel the warm innards of the body. Oh, it feels like cut spaghetti. I reckon the insides of a pony's ass, they feel like a Bulgarian spring. You guys, it feels like cut spaghetti. <laughs> Give it up, Kenny. You're not going to win the costume contest. Your costumes always suck. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> we scared you, chickens. We weren't scared. Oh, no? Well, you should be. The pirate ghosts are going to come get you. The what? Pirate Didn't ghosts. you know? There's an old legend in South Park that says these docks are haunted by pirate ghosts. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh. They roam these docks with their swords and hook hands looking for victims to cut up. Is this the first episode when the fifth graders are introduced? But I know what they want. They want some boobs. You guys, my hand totally smells like spaghetti now. I smell it. I'm sick of those fifth graders scaring us all the time. We should come up with a way to scare them. Yeah, let's see how they like it. Joining me now is Father Maxi from the South Park Church. Father, what do you think of all the preparations here at the docks? Okay, I have a cool story from the village for you. So this neighbor kid of mine, his family had two cows, and it so happened that one of them was pregnant. One day, naturally, her water breaks, and what does the mom of my friend do? She makes him help with the delivery. The poor fella had to pull the calf by its leg from the vagina of the cow. He eventually passed out. <sighs> Halloween is an abomination of God, a celebration of the occult. Yeah, and how about Korn playing the big concert tomorrow? Pretty exciting, huh? Korn is a devil-worshipping group that plays violent music. If we allow that demon band to play on this most unholy of holidays, we may incur the full wrath of evil. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for Halloween. In the meantime, here's a cozy hit by Barry Manilow. Come on, you guys, think. How can we scare the fifth graders? Come on, how the hell is Korn satanic? They are very, very horny, but satanic? No fucking way. By the way, what's your favorite corn song? Mine's gotta be Got the Life. It's an amazing song. That's not scary, fat ass. Well, come on. We can think of something better than stupid pirate ghosts. <laughs> of course it's true. <laughs> Wait. Are you sure we're good? <laughs> I thought that the pirate ghosts, they seemed a bit familiar. So when I saw this van, the dots connected in my head. Freaking Scooby-Doo reference. Interesting. In the right way? I don't know. This map doesn't make any sense. That's because you've got it upside down, Chowderhead. <laughs> Oop. Okay, so we've got Jonathan Davies, we've got Head, we've got Fieldy, we've got Monkey, and we've got that Brazilian drummer. This is just wholesome. When are we gonna get to the gig? I'm starving. Don't think about it. We'll just keep playing our game. Ready? 
I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter T. I know, a tree. You got it. I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter R. The road? That's it. <laughs> all, all the animations from Scooby-Doo. South Park did a great job recreating the universe. A little life hack for you. If your neighbors piss you off, just play them some uh, Freak on the Leash. Okay, here's one. I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter P. The letter P? What the heck starts with the letter P? Pirate Ghost! <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what happened to Korn in 2005. After Head became a Christian and left the band. Let's see, I want this and this and... I don't know, but I remember that as a kid, for Christmas, I usually used to get beaten up. Eric, your little friends are here. Mom, Mom, you want to see what I want for Christmas? Eric, it's only Halloween. That's only 72 shopping days left for you. Come on, fat ass, we have to go. Hey, don't call me fat. Great mindset. <laughs> Ma'am, don't laugh. I'm sorry, hon. I can't go with you guys right now. Yes, you can, Porky. Ma'am, <laughs> 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 Oh, that's not funny, boys. Eric isn't fat, he's big boned. He must have a huge bone in his ass, then. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Mom! <laughs> I think Miss Cartman knows a lot about big bones. Her high protein diet keeps her always in shape. I hate you guys. Okay, so we figured out how to scare the fifth graders. How? What's the scariest thing we could get? Spooky spider? No, a dead body. Yeah, fat ass, a dead body. You mean we make something that looks like a dead body? We can never make one that looks real enough. To be really scary, it would have to be real. Yeah, fat ass, it has to be real to be scary. So where the hell are we gonna get a dead body? We're gonna dig up Kyle's dead grandma. But why the effort? Just visit the basement of Eric Cartman. I'm pretty sure the Tenorman family is still warm. I saw this lovely wet for sleigh ride together with you and you and you. Carmen, will you stop singing Christmas carols? We have to be quiet or else we're gonna get busted. <laughs> this must be it, Cleo Broflowski. That's my grandma. Well, let's dig her up. Wait, I don't know if this is cool. Cleo Broflowski. Was she a Jewish lady? Or a f***ing mermaid. I don't think a lot of you will get the reference. Oh, I don't want to dig up my dead grandma because I'm such a goody two-shoes. Ow! <laughs> Guys, be quiet. Now, do you want to get back at the fifth graders or not? I don't really care, dude. <laughs> yes, you do. Now dig. Bunk. I saw this nerdy spouting and friends are calling you. <laughs> okay, it's almost open. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. I expected to see the body of an old Jewish lady. Why is there Kathleen Kennedy? And the fact that there's a Kenny grave on the left and a freshly dug Kenny grave in the back. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Kyle. Ah! Have you been a good boy, Kyle? Have you been making Grandma proud? Damn it, Carmen, that's not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sweet. All right, all right, let's just get this over with so we can put her back. Okay, grab the sled. Sorry, I have to stop my necromantic erection. How exactly are we going to use her to scare them? We can shove a stick up her ass and use her like a puppet. Rawr, rawr, I'm scary grandma. All right, that does it, Cartman. That's my grandma. You show some goddamn respect. Uh... Who was that? Cartman? It wasn't me. Oh. Dude, not cool. This is scary. Ah! Hey, like it's just some kids. Oh, whew. I was really scared there for a second. Okay, now I think that corn would blend in perfectly in my Moldovan village. Jonathan Davis can be the kid that helped his mom with the cow birth. Hey, you're that band corn. Yeah, I'm Jonathan, and this is Monkey, David Fillion Head. And over there's our pal Niblet. Hey, where'd Niblet go? Mm -mm, Niblet? Niblet? Ah, they, they did Scooby Dirty. They did Scooby Dirty. But I have a sudden idea. How about we replace the N-word with Niblet? I'm 200% Niblet. Lots potato chips. Niblet. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? We were just driving our van when all of a sudden we were run off the road by some super spooky pirate ghosts. 
Oh, dude, that was just the fifth graders. Yeah, they're trying to scare everybody because they're gay wads. Don't worry, we're about to go get them back. Oh, swell. We're supposed to play here tomorrow. Do you know where the stage is? Yeah, dude, drive over there. Okay. Oh, hi, we're Corn. We're supposed to play the Halloween concert tomorrow. I know who you are and what you stand for. How can Corn be anti God if they got holy breakdowns? If they got sacred riffs? If they got heavenly melodies? I think your music and Halloween is an abomination. Groovy, could you show us where to set up? All right, let's just set her over here behind these boxes. Shouldn't we hide her better than that? Kyle, will you stop worrying? God. Now we'll all be back here tomorrow with our costumes, and then when the Halloween party gets going, we'll bust out dead Gram Gram. Let's go! Wait till you guys see my costume. It's gonna be sweet. Man, can I buy it for the sweet one? Uh, come on, Kenny. You never have a sweet costume. You're not gonna win the costume contest. What can uh, possibly go wrong? I think Disney could steal the dead grandma and make a new Snow White. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> Mrs. Bravlaski? Yes? We're from Mount Peaceful Cemetery. I guess the cemetery is not that peaceful after all. Imagine being eaten by a dog. This is the Korean Uno reverse card. We have a word with you. Uh, sure, come in. What is it? Miss Bravlaski, somebody has defiled your mother's grave. Defiled? How? Well, I'm afraid that somebody dug her up. Dug her up? Why? Well, the most likely reason is that somebody wanted to have sex with her dead body. I hope that at least it's, uh, protected sex. What? Uh, we don't want to upset you, but it happens. Somebody's probably making love to her corpse as we speak. Every vile position, every disrespectful act imaginable. Oh, dear God! Yes, by now he's probably even removed her eyes and made love to the empty sockets as I think that the Woodland Critters should copyright those guys. You do not steal ideas like that. Well, oh. no, we don't want to upset you, but you should know that your mother's body would be stiff and dry, so he would have to have it soaked in warm water for several hours before making love to it. Oh. Yes, and now for the difficult part. Brace yourself. It is highly po Let's have a little brainstorm. How morally unjustified and inappropriate is sex with a corpse? Because I know that in some cultures, necrophilia is actually something traditional. For example, in the Bulgarian culture. Possible that he has created new orifices in her decomposing flesh, leaving her to look something like an overloved hunk of Swiss cheese. She probably- Okay, okay, I get the point! Just tell me what you're gonna do about it! Do? Oh, we don't do anything, we're just the watchmen. Yeah, I guess maybe you might want to call the police right <laughs> Imagine having the sweet job of raising panic, going from house to house and telling people, yeah, perhaps he is already performing a dirty Sanchez on your dead mom. Now, he probably would make love to the dead body in a cool, dry place so as not to allow further decomposition. True, true. So I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I got a Christmas present. I got a Christmas present. Maybe I can see what it is. I'll just open one little corner. Let's see me. Ah, screw it. I'll rewrap it later. Oh, sweet! Life size blow up Antonio Banderas love dog! Eric, I think that's mommy's Christmas gift. Actually, I can tell you from personal experience, don't buy those. The mouth is too dry and too big. With realistic genitalia. Let's with see. realistic genitalia. <laughs> oh, this kicks ass! What a cool Christmas present my mom got! <laughs> <It's all laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> It does have a very nice spot for inflating it. To the docks and bring your costumes. Where's Kenny? He said he had the best Halloween costume ever. Nya, 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 nya. Guess what? I got Antonio Banderas. Blah, blah. You guys didn't get one. Where's your costume, fat ass? Screw Halloween. I already got my Christmas present. In a few days, I'll wrap it back up, and then when I open it on Christmas, I'll act all surprised like, Oh, mother, Antonio Banderas life size blub dog. What a surprise. Kenny? <laughs> How is this financially possible? Is this perhaps a little financial aid from the US government? This is gonna be sweet. Uh, this is so random. Does. What's the problem? No grandma. No grandma? Oops. No grandma. She's not here. She has to be here. Well, she's not here. That's just great. 
Thanks a lot, Stan. You're gonna get me busted again. Okay, people, I know we all want to get down to the docks for the Halloween haunt, but first we just need to inform you about the people or persons out there digging up bodies to have sex with them. So the people of South Park are real connoisseurs of uh, dead meat. I love my meat. Well dead. Gentlemen, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A person who steals bodies to have sex with them is called a necrophiliac. So that you all know what to expect, my partner Alan has drawn a sketch of what having sex with a dead body might look like. Oh. Yes, we know it's horrible. It's probably best to not look necessary. at it. Very Now, Alan will demonstrate what having sex with a dead body might sound like. I think it sounds more like rubbing something with sandpaper, like shh, shh, shh. Excuse me, how is this helping? That's it, folks. Now we can all go to the docks and enjoy the Halloween haunt. No, don't go to the docks. Arr! <gasps> Arr! I'm Captain Blind. You landlubbers had better stay away from the docks, or else there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> Fire the cannons! And I was watching the episode and constantly wondering, when are we gonna get our first decapitations? There you go. We won't warn you again. Stay away from our ducks. I warned you. I told you this would happen. When you allow bands like Korn to come to town and play your heathenistic Halloween concerts, this is what you get. That must have been a very mind-blowing experience. It's all Korn's fault. Great rehearsal, gang. That was really groovy. Let's practice one more time before the show starts. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, but the Halloween haunt's been canceled. Canceled? You best clear out of here. There's pirate ghosts in Why the hell are they playing acoustic instruments? Korn, who usually plays seven-string guitars. Also, what the hell is Bob Ross doing there? I'll kill you. Well, gang, it looks like we have to pack it up. Damn it, now what the hell are we gonna do? Oh, hey, the kids from last night. Wow, is that the Antonio Banderas life-size blow-up doll? <laughs> of course they know about it. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> Say, what's the matter? You kids look kind of glum. Somebody took my dead grandma. <laughs> That's gotta be a blessing to be greeted like that by Korn. Hey, Kenny. What? We dug her up because we wanted to scare the fifth graders, but then something took her body away. Now she's doomed to walk the earth in limbo. <laughs> oh, I hate to see little clowns cry. Well, that does it. Something funny is going on here. Your missing grandma must be connected somehow to those creepy pirate ghosts. They're not pirate ghosts, Jonathan. They're ghost pirates. Huh? Pirate ghost would suggest that a pirate died and became a ghost. But a ghost pirate is a ghost that later made a conscious decision to be a pirate. No. Wait, let me give that a couple of seconds. A ghost pirate. It does make sense. A pirate ghost is someone who was a pirate and then became a ghost. A ghost pirate is someone who was a ghost and then became a pirate. Okay, now, now my brain is free. David, then they are pirate ghosts because they're the ghosts of pirates. You're wrong because there were no pirates in Colorado. So these must be ghosts that decided to become pirates after the fact. But that makes them pirate ghosts. No, it makes them ghost pirates. Pirate ghosts. Guys, guys, guys. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Don't you see? This is exactly what those ghost pirates want us to do. Pirate ghosts. Then you'll help us. They are actually right about the semantic issue, but we don't have enough circumstances to determine if they are pirate ghosts or ghost pirates. <laughs> Is everybody okay? People stealing bodies to have sex with them? Pirate ghosts destroying the town? When did everything go so wrong? I hate to say it, but I think Priest Maxi was right. This is what we get for celebrating Halloween and allowing that band Corn to come play. He's right. <laughs> Nothing ever went wrong in this town before that evil Corn band showed up. Well, I say we go find them and kick their devil-worshipping butts out of town. Yeah! yeah! Get oh, yeah cool. It's that amazing time of the year. The lynch mob time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so this is where you last saw your dead grandma. Right. Maybe there really are pirate ghosts and they took her inside. All right, gang. We have to split up and look for clues. How should we split up? I know. Let's have everyone who enjoys having obstacles in their life which they can overcome go this way. And everyone whose insecurities sabotage their potential to overcome those obstacles go that way. Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of a filter was that? Wow, that was easy. Here's their van, here's their van. Let's flip it over! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, people, let's try to stay orderly. The best way to do this is all get on one side and push it from the top. Double worshippers! Yeah! Come on, they gotta be around here somewhere. This place gives me the creeps. Hmm. Now, why would Pirate Ghost need a book on pirates? Well, what was that? The noise came from in here. Stay close, everybody. I gotta mention that they did feel the dirty, making him the Velma of the crew. <laughs> What does this dead grandma look like? Uh, she was all like crunchy and crispy and stuff. Hey, I got an idea. We should set a groovy it's trap. Sexy. Good idea. How do we trap a bunch of pirate ghosts? We need something that might catch their eye to use as bait. I know, you're Antonio Banderas' love doll. Oh no, this is my Christmas <laughs> present. If anything happens to it, my mom will know I opened it early. Come on, kid. We all have to do our part, even Antonio. My glasses gotta be around here somewhere. Is that you, Jonathan? Boy, I'm glad to see you. I lost my glasses. As usual, South Park paying attention to every detail when they're doing a reference. Hey, you got a cold, Jonathan? Yeah, that sounds like a groovy song, man. Remember that one. Fieldy, what are you doing? Oh, I was talking to you, Jonathan. Hey, wait a minute. If you're over there, then how could you be over here? Unless you're actually a... Pirate Ghost! <laughs> okay. They should go right for Antonio Banderas. When they hit the super slippery floor, they'll slide onto this mining car, which should travel down this path into the next room where the fishnet will fall on them. Wow, cool. Hey, somebody's coming. Isn't it a bit fishy that we didn't see Niblet yet? By all the Scooby-Doo laws, Niblet is gonna be the one to save them, I'm pretty sure. Hey, there's Antonio Banderas. He'll help us, Mr. Banderas. <laughs> Jonathan, no. Horn is sending their demon minions upon us! <laughs> All right, gang. Looks like we're gonna have to use our special corn powers. Corn powers vitalize! Monkey! David! Fieldy! And Jonathan! Form of corn! I think that Jonathan Davis should change his name to Cornelius. All right, great job, gang! That didn't help at all! We know, it's just cool to do. Arr! Niblet! What the hell is that thing? You did well, it was kind of expectable. All I wanted is to put a niblet and make it gay. Yeah, and now let's see who these pirate ghosts really are. Oh, I guess they really were pirate ghosts. All right, Corn, you can stop your demonic shenanigans and come downtown with me. <laughs> Look what niblet sees. Whoa! <laughs> what the? Father Maxie? <laughs> well, what are you waiting for, Bar Brady? A false flag from the church. Who would have expected this, ladies and gentlemen? Arrest that band! Oh? No, arrest him! Huh? huh? I think I've got this groovy mystery solved! Well, I must say, I still don't get this at all. It's simple. Priest Maxie didn't want there to be a Halloween, so he decided to scare everyone away from the docks. Yeah, and then he used this flashlight and some cotton swabs to create the ghosts. <laughs> then all he needed was some sound effects created by this cup and a piece of cheese. <laughs> I still think that they're gonna pull Father Max's mask off and there's gonna be like Mr. Garrison or Mr. Slave or something. You know the rules of Scooby-Doo. And so do I. Never gonna get- And all he had to do then was create a ghost ship by using some candles, a mirror, and two squirrels. <laughs> Father, why did you go to all this trouble? Because Halloween is an abomination of God. I would do anything to stop this wretched unholy holiday. Including killing people and wreaking havoc all over South- Wait, how is it then physically possible that the projections have massacred people? Park? Don't you see that by trying to stop Halloween you've scared the hell out of everybody? No. Okay, buddy, you can explain downtown. Well, this is all fine and good, but it doesn't explain what happened to my mother's body. Yeah, where's Grandma? Uh. Well, I guess the head is still pretty warm. There she is. Oh! Well, thanks a lot, Corn. Your corn powers really came through. <laughs> Nothing yes, happened. we were wrong about you. Will you please play for our Halloween party? Well, sure. Why the heck not? All, All right. right. Awesome. Oh no, the pirate ghosts are back. <laughs> uh -oh. Grinch steals the Christmas, Father Maxie steals the Halloween, and I <laughs> steal bicycles. 
Well, this sure has been a wacky night, but me and the gang learned a lot, and we hope you did too. You all perceive us to be mean, evil people, but really we're just normal guys. And we all perceive pirate ghosts to be real, when actually they were just cotton swabs. So I guess the lesson is, it's easy to perceive something some way and then be wrong. So we all need to learn to be a little less perceptive. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna quite enjoy the music. This is not the target audience of Korn. The gang and I wrote a song about it, and it goes a little something like this. And a one, and a two, and a... There is not a better song to get a stroke than Falling Away From Me. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Sweet! Antonio, no! You son of a bitch taken from outer space! Stay, come back here! That's okay. And the winner of the costume contest is... Wendy for her Chewbacca costume. Come on up, Wendy. <laughs> 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 Great episode. I saw Corn. I saw South Park. I saw Scooby Doo. I am really satisfied. I gotta mention that the South Park creators, they really have respect for the references that they are doing. It is a very scrupulous work, and that's what makes it great. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this episode with me. If you have more suggestions, drop them in the comments below. But apart from that, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time.